Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Hobo here today, and Raw is over. And really quick, you know, I'm a guy who's not going to sit here and lie to you, my fans. I'm going to tell you how it is. So how it is, is about two hours before Raw, I fell asleep. I missed the first Monday Night Football game. I fell asleep. I just woke up four minutes ago. So I looked up the Raw results. I read them through, and overall, I was a little pleased with the way the show turned out. Now, I don't know if that's how it played out on television, but on paper, some things that stick out to me would have to be Bo Dallas squashing again, um, the number one contender for the Women's Championship, although Dana Brooke was in that match, I'm sure, I'm sure Sasha and Bailey had some fun stuff to do in that match, and I'm sure that it was fun. I, I will certainly... Look up the highlights of... Is that any... Are, are there Raw highlights? C can you even say that? <laughs> Does Raw ever have a highlight? Every, no. Um, Cesaro picks up another win in his best of seven. And Roman Reigns... The, the part that had me the most nervous going into Raw tonight... Was if Roman Reigns becomes the number one contender or the number two contender or whatever, and gets thrown in that match at Clash of Champions. Uh, that was my number one worry going in. And Rusev, my baby boy Ruru, come in the clutch and smacks Rusev all the way back down. Or sm <laughs> He smacks himself. No, he smacked Roman Reigns all the way back down to the United States Championship. And that's where he belongs, really. He does not belong in the same breath as Kevin Owens, the god, the WWE Universal Champion, and he should never be back there, frankly. Uh, no, he just has to earn it in, in the minds of the fans, and that is something he has not done. He has not earned the right to be in the WWE Universal Championship picture. A guy like AJ Styles has earned it. That's why he is a WWE Champion, and that's why the fans are behind him. Simple as that. And that's going to do it for this Raw review. Um, just by looking on paper, I probably would have given the show maybe a, a 6.5 to 7 out of 10, so that's pretty much where I'm bracketing it there, uh, unless I actually see some visual content, which I really don't want to because it's raw, obviously, and I don't want to um, bleed out of the ears listening to Michael Cole. The commentary has gotten better, but I still don't like Michael Cole. He pisses me off, and my, my eyes don't wish to bleed by looking at all that red. Blue is my favorite color, don't get me wrong. Red's my second favorite color, but when there's too much of one thing, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's just a thing. So anyway, that's going to do it for me here. And I hope that you all enjoyed Raw more than I did. Because I didn't even get to see it. So that's going to do it for me, your boy Hobo. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.